Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow the Ball Bob built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we are going to Kentucky Kingdom. Now I thought I was done today. I thought Wixty Park, SeaWorld San Antonio, that was it for today. Well I was wrong. I was very, very wrong because we have a news update on a brand new coaster that's set to be potentially coming, um, that's set to be constructed between September 2020, so this September, between then and May 2021 for a brand new roller coaster coming to Kentucky Kingdom. Now, obviously this is just a rumor. This is just public filings and documents. Uh, so it looks like the park were definitely gonna add this. Now the park did joke about this and saying, you know, somebody entered in the Raptor footage. It, well, the coaster, I've given it away now. The Raptor uh, info and saying they're actually going to do a dueling Vacoma SLC. So it was very good of the part to joke about it. Uh, but they've actually, but the actual real one shows information of a Raptor coaster. Now, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. Make sure you get your questions as well as your video suggestions in. Use the hashtag question before or after your question, and those hashtag questions will be very, very useful for our subscriber special when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And as a bonus, guys, we've hit just over 400,000 views across over all of our 900 over 900 videos. We've uploaded just over 900 videos on this channel, and we've hit just over 400 thousand views across all of them i know i looked back over um all of the newsroom updates that we've done in 2020 and the comments below you know some were constructive criticism on the news but nearly all of them were just positive 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 there was a couple of debates from people in the comments down below you guys know who you are uh, <laughs> i've seen their debates um so they've had a bit of a comment clash but uh it was fun to watch to be fair even though some of the language wasn't nice uh but the debates were fun to watch um and and you know read through um but it's good to it's good to have a difference of opinion with our fan base but it's i'm so glad that you guys are just such big fans of this channel and the fact we've only done this channel for about a year and a half so about 18 months and it's already nearly 500,000 views across over nine, just over 900 videos is stunning. Absolutely stunning. It shows you guys care. So thank you so, so much. Let's get this to 500,000 views across all our videos. And then we'll be on the road to 1 million views. And for now, guys, let's get into another Theme Park Newsroom update. Because that's our main content, isn't it? We do our predictions, we do our reviews, we do our vlogs. But it's, this is the main thing, Theme Park News. And this update from Kentucky Kingdom is no different. So, all the information is from Coaster Kings. So, big shout goes to Coaster Kings for the documentation, the public documents, and, of course, the information from the website. So, let's talk about Kentucky Kingdom's 2021 roller coaster. So, according to Coaster Kings, or The Coaster Kings officially, thecoasterkings.com, it looks like Kentucky Kingdom have already been begun planning their 2021 edition before the coronavirus pandemic hit. We recently discovered height waivers filed by the park back in February for the addition of a 108 foot tall roller coaster, not so subtly named Raptor. Now, the documentation, the construction was planned to take place from September 2020 until May of 2021. The park filed four separate height waivers for various points of the ride, highlighted on a Google Earth image on the website. Now, for those of you who want to uh, see the site, I'm going to put the site on my Google Earth on your screen now, Fandabidozi, and you can see that the site for this attraction will be squeezed in between Thunder Run and back half of Storm Chaser, of course, Thunder Run um, and, of course, Storm Chaser. Storm Chaser is there, uh, Rocky Mountain Construction, a uh, hybrid coaster, it's their renovation, their conversion of the old dueling wooden coaster, Twisted Twins, when it used to operate a Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom. Uh, so Storm Chase and Thunder Run, it's in between there. Now, of course, one attraction stands in its path, and that is, of course, their Larson Super Loop Eye of the Storm, which would either need to be relocated somewhere else within the park or removed altogether. However, the Coaster Kings reckons, because of how recently the ride was added, they think a relocation is more likely. Now, the FAA case currently has an interim status, meaning it's still under review, which is typical given Kentucky Kingdom's proximity to the Louisville International Airport. 
The ride would be about the same height as all other coasters though, so they don't imagine that they'll have much of an issue getting it approved. The main question now though, is will the park still go with through the edition of 2021, or could it be possibly delayed due to the effects of coronavirus? With the park reopening at the end of June, it will be interesting to see if the, any signs of activity in that area are spotted, so keep your eyes peeled. That's the big one, keep your eyes peeled. So that is the official article from thecoasterkings.com. I'll link that in the description down below. Uh, but now it's time to share my thoughts on this attraction. So this is why the videos go past 10 minutes nearly every day now. It's because I'm sharing my thoughts. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is my past coverage of Kentucky Kingdom. So obviously on the old channel, which is now our second channel for football and basketball content, make sure you go and subscribe to that. Links in the description down below for the second channel. We've got some exciting content coming up there very, very soon. Um, with the Premier League starting up again this week. Um, but yes, before then it was the old Coaster Shell. It was known as Coaster Shell and then in the later stages of its life after 2016 and 2017, it was changed to ATJC for the start of 2018. Uh, I used to do that old, for those of you who remember it, I did that old intro, it's me, it's me, it's the ATJ suit, <laughs> I used to put the pronunciations on the seat, but long story short, what I covered on there, one of the topics I covered from that channel is store, is uh, Kentucky Flyer, uh, which was their most recent coaster, it's their Gravity Craft Corporation wooden coaster, it's Kentucky Flyer, and... I always thought that a Raptor would be a better addition for the parks. Now, obviously this was back in the days when Golden Lasso Coast was just getting into the park and Railblazer at California's Great America, that was being introduced for the first time. Uh, so I thought that a Raptor would go to Kentucky Kingdom instead. And I was wrong. It turned out to be a family wooden coaster. So a lot of people were happy. A lot of people thought that a Raptor could have been a better addition. Uh, a lot of people predicted a Raptor at the time. Uh, but I had in the back of my mind... I always thought that a Raptor would come to Kentucky Kingdom. Obviously, if you don't know what a single rail coaster is, or a Raptor as we call it, uh, by Rocky Mountain Construction, it is, of course, a single rail roller coaster. So instead of using the two, you know, like hybrid rails that they do in the uh, I-boxes uh, for their RMC coasters, for the original RMC coasters, they have top track and I-box. They can top the track, replace it with steel track, or they can do a full I-box conversion. Uh, so... You know, instead of using both rails, they use one rail and they create these like thin trains where it's like one, it's literally one person per car. And it's usually eight per train or a ten per train, so it's it, or ten per car. So it's usually ten per train. So, um, you know, the capacity on this is very, very small. So it's perfect for the smaller family theme parks that want to do a nice thrilling coaster uh, for the general public. And whether this is a clone, I mean, from the four height waivers that we spotted, may i don't think it will be a clone i think it could potentially be a custom layout uh single rail coaster especially with um you know i mean look at the uh single rails that are already at uh in the world look at the single rail coasters now of course like i said these only came to production for the first time in 2018 so you know they haven't been around for decades like other coaster types they've been around for only a couple of years uh, so looking at the Raptor coasters, uh, looking at the two clones, Rail Blazer, that's 106 foot tall. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso coaster, that's 113 foot tall. And Jersey Devil is, of course, 130. And that is, of course, the more custom layout compared to the prototype layout of Rail Blazer and Wonder Woman. So looking at those three, obviously this won't be the tallest if it is going to be the prototype clone of Wonder Woman slash Rail Blazer. Um, but if it is a custom layout, then obviously it's going to be uh, not the tallest. But... I would much prefer a custom layout because I think they can do some pretty cool stuff with this. Now, obviously, the RMC Raptor coming into the park, I think it'll be a very cool addition. Now, like I said, whether it's 2021, I don't know. I think it will be 2021. I think that with the park opening at the end of June, I personally believe that they will start construction in September as they originally planned. Uh, I think they're going to get the footers done starting in September. They're going to get groundwork started. Um... You know, and I think that I think Kentucky Kingdom is going to have a real addition on their hands. Now, obviously mentioned in that Coaster Kings document report, uh, an article, there's one attraction that you've got to think about, and that is their Larson Super Loop that they only added a few years ago, right when the park was reopened, uh, right at the start of that timeline for the new era of the park, and that is of course Eye of the Storm. Now, obviously it mentions their relocation or removal. Now. 
you know, many people have their opinions on Lost and Super Loops. I haven't experienced one, so I can't comment on what I think to them. But I can say from reviews, it's very, very mixed. Some people like them, some people hate them, some people are in the middle. They're 50-50 on them. So it's a very it's a very marmalade ride. It's a marmalade that's my that's my word of the day marmalade ride and what i mean by that is you either love it or you hate it personally i'm in the middle because i haven't experienced it yet so you know i even though it's lower capacity than other older flat rides which you know on the industry could seem as a bit of a downgrade on the on the flat ride evolution but i personally believe that because it's a newer ride i would rather it stay and live out its life cycle a bit more um, and move it to a different site. Now, obviously, they could maybe work it around the ride, but I, I doubt that. I really do doubt that with the, with the four height waivers and where they're marked on Google Earth. If you look on the web, on the article from Coast of Kings, you look at how close the height waivers are, and you look at where they're placed, and you look where the track could realistically look if you could paint the picture, um, like Vincent Van Gogh. Um, but you know, I, I really think that either storm's going to get relocated, so. Whether that means that Eye of the Storm will open with the rest of the theme park um, when the park reopens at the end of June, I very much doubt it. I think that um, I think that Eye of the Storm is going to get relocated into a new area of the park. I think they're going to relocate it to a different area. If they remove the ride altogether and it is going to be demolished or it's going to get relocated to a different park, I'll be very surprised because, of course, like I said, it is a newer uh, attraction. It's been around for a only a few years so obviously it's not impossible to remove a ride that's only been at the park for a few years nemesis of terror and um alton towers fans will uh, back me up on that one uh but you know even though it's a newer attraction it's not impossible and it's not a crime to remove it altogether and if it's not the success that you thought it was or maybe it's not a success around the world with the same type of ride as what all the you know super loops are doing then you remove it if you want to remove it then you remove it so it, it, to be fair even though i haven't tried it i think i would rather prefer a if there, if there was no option to relocate it i would rather than put in a single rail coaster than keep a super loop because on paper you look at the single rail coaster and that is a better addition on paper you know probably on ride as well and the on ride experience obviously i haven't tried both ride types but i can I, i'm pretty much people can back me up when i say that um, you know, the single rail on paper is better than the super loop, so it must be better on ride as well. Um, I know a lot of people that may not be fans of the single rail, but I think that Kent Kingdom, like I said, are going to be on with a winner with this park and this particular coaster type. Um, in terms of themes, I think they could go along the natural disaster theme again. Uh, again, Storm Chaser, Thunder Run, Eye of the Storm, you know, it's you get where I'm going here. I think they're going to go with that uh, natural disaster theme again. And I think they're going to go with uh, something uh, to do with disasters. So, um, thinking of disasters then. Um, I mean, they could go with a hurricane theme. They could go with an earthquake theme. They could go with a volcanic eruption theme. They could do a few different natural disasters if that's the theme route they want to go down with this. Uh, and if they could do, they could do a really nice station and have it beautifully landscaped and, you know, really redevelop that whole area. Um, but it's going to be a very exciting project to watch. And I think that it's going to be very exciting to see Thunder Run, Storm Chaser, and then in between the two, you've got this RMC single rail. And I had an inkling it would be a Raptor coaster because, of course, they've worked with RMC before. So I had an idea that an RMC Raptor would come to the park in the future, but... It's making 2021 an even bigger year. 2021 is such a big year for coasters and a big year for attractions. Um, there's a few delayed attractions, you know, here in the UK, in Europe. Um, there's a lot of delayed things coming in 2021. And if you add that to the stuff that's already been built for 2021 uh, already, you look at Gronelund's Invert, Magic Mountain's Raptor, St. Louis's planned Raptor. Uh, Dorney Parks, Gravity Group, Shuttle, Wooden Coaster, uh, and now this Raptor at Kentucky Kingdom, plus many, many more projects across the world. You know, 2021 is going to be a massive year for additions, for delayed 2020 additions, and for 2021 as well. So, there's some big dates in the theme park industry. Obviously, Dollywood's still yet to announce their largest investment plan. We don't know what's happening with that. Hopefully, 
uh, with the park hopefully reopening very, very soon. We should see some, uh, if not already open, we should hopefully see some news on the investment announcement. Um, obviously, Six Flags have got their 2021 announcements. Again, that'll probably be end of August, like usual. Uh, Cedar Fair, I'm pretty sure they'll announce some stuff. King's Dominions coaster, this free spin replacing the crypt. And there's lots of projects, and this project just makes it even better for, for Kentucky Kingdom. And it also makes it better for the 2021 season. So there's a lot more stuff to, a lot more new stuff to explore around the theme parks across the world. So, you know. I think we're in a good place with this. I think that Kentucky King, I think, you know, like the article said, there's no reason why it shouldn't get disapproved. Obviously, the coronavirus is going to be a big impact. But like I said, this has been planned way before the pandemic. So obviously, it's going to be very easy to get this accepted because it was already pre-planned. Uh, so I think this one's going to be an easy one. This will open in 2021. Now, like I said, the construction is set to take place between September 2020, which I think will still go ahead as planned, up until May 2021. So I'm predicting a end of June mid to mid-July, end of July maximum opening in 2021. So we're looking at a summer opening here. Uh, for this ride. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update on Kentucky Kingdom's RMC Raptor. I love that train horn in the background. It's very, very relaxing. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update from Kentucky Kingdom on this RMC Raptor. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to this project and I really can't wait. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell for more content. Get your questions in for the Q&A. Make sure you keep adding in your video suggestions. Uh, make sure you follow our other series here on the channel, Chal Chats, talking to the best and the best of the industry. Uh, make sure you go look at our second channel. Links in the description down below for football and basketball content. Premier League starting tomorrow, so we're going to be busy on that tomorrow. Um, and also, guys, make sure you... Um, you know, stay tuned for some more great content on the channel because we've got some great videos coming up. Uh, we've hit just over 400,000 views across all over 900 videos. So thank you guys so, so much for that. Let's get it to 500,000 views and let's get it closer and closer to 1 million views, which I never thought I'd say. Uh, so thank you very much, guys. Keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.